Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. Alright guys, so far we have implemented crude functionality in our employee management application. That is employees list functionality, add employee functionality, update employee functionality and delete employee functionality. Now I would like to add one more functionality to our employee management application that is view employee details functionality so basically uh, in real time projects we have a employee object with lots of data right so in our project to keep it simple i have just added first name last name and email id but in real time project we might have a more number of fields in a employee object and if you look at the table here we are just showing first name last name and email id okay and sometime we want to see all the details of this particular employee okay and it is not possible to show all the details of this particular employee in a table okay and if user want to see all the details of particular employee then typically we provide a button over here that is view button and once user click on view button then user will able to see all the details of that particular employee all right so this is the feature that we are going to develop okay Let's go ahead and let's create a React component to add this functionality. Let's implement this functionality step by step. You can just follow the steps that I am going to implement here right now. Go to the Visual Studio Code ID and the first step is we are going to create a new component called View Employee Component. Okay. Go to the Components folder within the Components folder we are going to create a file called view employee component click on new file and just give a name to the file as view employee component and provide .jsx JSX extension now we have created a file within a file we are going to create a react class component and we are going to use a react snippet to quickly create a react class component just type the command rcc so in order to create a react class component using react snippets plugin we have to first install react snippet plugin in your vs code id i already shown you how to install react snippets plugin in your vs code id in one of the previous video please go through the previous videos all right guys once you type rcc and hit enter this will create a skeleton or a snippet for react class component all right so this is the step one and in step two we are going to provide a routing for this component let's go ahead and let's configure a route for this component go to the app.js file and here let's configure a route for our newly created react component so i'm going to just copy the existing route and paste here and just give a path to the route let's say view hyphen employee slash colon id so this is going to be our url for you know a view employee page and let's create let's provide a component for this path that is view employee component so make sure that view employee component is imported at the top okay great save the file so this is the step two okay i hope you guys are following the steps now the third step is we are going to add a new button okay so basically we are going to add a button over here that is a view button once we click on view button we should able to navigate to the view employee page all right and this is the list employee component right so let's head over to the list employee component and let's add a new button over here called view button go to the list employee component and go to the table inside a list you know list employee component so this is the table inside table we have actions column 
within actions column we have two buttons over here update and delete now let's go ahead and let's add one more button let me simply copy the existing button let's copy this delete button and paste here and look at here this is the on click property of uh, you know button element and this is the arrow function and let's change our event handler method name that is from delete employee to view employee and let's change the bootstrap css class let's say info and we also change the button label let's do a view all right so this is the important part so here just we are uh, you know providing arrow function and we are just passing id here to the view employee event handler all right guys and here we are just providing inline style that is margin left 10 pixel and let's go ahead and let's uh, define this view employee for uh, event handler copy the method name and here i am gonna define the view handler that is view employee and just pass the id okay so once we click on view button then view employee event handler will get fired within a view employee event handler we're gonna configure a route so it will navigate to the view employee page let's go ahead and let's write the code here this dot props dot history so i have already explained in one of the previous video how the history object is associated with the route so you can just watch the previous videos in order to understand how the history object is associated with the route and how it maintains the history of the browser and then type push method and then brushes and here this is important so here you have to use backstick so sometime uh, you might use a single code right so don't use single code you should use backstick symbol and within a backstick just provide a path over here that is view employee slash and then dollar and within a curly braces type id so this is the syntax to pass id to the route this is the third step all right so let me recap the steps in first step we have created view employee component and we have configured a route for view employee component in app.js file this is the second step in third step we have added a view button in list employee component here and once we click on view employee button then view employee event handler will get fired and we are successfully able to navigate to the view employee page so this is the third step in a fourth step we are going to design our view employee page and we'll populate the employee data on view employee page okay go to the render method inside render method we have a return statement and here are the braces within braces we have a do and within a do we just gonna type some uh, heading over here like let's say s2 tag and then i'm just going to write some text here let's say view employee page so just i'm um, going we are going to make sure that we are successfully able to navigate to the view employee page or not for that i'm just going to give the header like this all right guys let's save all the files and let's go back to the browser and let's see how it works so here we have got a view button so once i click on view button yeah i can able to navigate to the view employee page all right guys we have successfully uh, you know uh, created a view employee component and we have configured route for the view employee component and we have provided a button for the view employee component and once i click on view button i can able to successfully navigate to the view employee page now in the next video i am going to design 
uh, view employee page and I will populate uh, employee data on a view employee page.